Hi everyone, I'm Pastor Megan from Coral Gables Congregational United Church of Christ. I'm sitting in our Sunday School room number five today, and I wanted to welcome you to story time. I thought that since we can't physically be together, I can look in our classrooms and find some of the books that we all really love and share them so we can be together through the stories. Today I wanted to read to you a story um, that's called, Who is My Neighbor? And Who is My Neighbor is in the Bible in a different way. Who is My Neighbor is a story that Jesus told a parable that asks us questions. When we hear the stories Jesus told, they ask us or invite us to think, to think how we can treat each other better and how we can become better people. So let's enjoy together, Who is My Neighbor? Written by Amy Jill Levine and Rabbi, Rabbi Sandy Eisenberg Sasso with beautiful drawings by Denise Turo. Who is my neighbor? Once there was a town where only blues lived. There were navy and indigo, aqua and sapphire, powder blue and midnight blue. They planted irises and forget-me-nots and feasted on blueberries and blue cheese. They sailed on blue waters, blue jays perched on branches and brilliant blue cracker butterflies shimmered. The blues thought they were the coolest colors. The yellows lived in a different town. They were gold and bronze, lemon and mustard, canary and pale yellow. They planted sunflowers and daffodils and feasted on bananas and butterscotch pudding. They traveled on yellow brick roads. Goldfinches perched on branches and busy yellow jackets buzzed. The yellows thought they were the hottest colors. The blues and the yellows did not like one another very much. Be careful of the yellows. We are better than they are. They are not our neighbors. They warned their children not to go near the others. Be careful of the blues. We are better than they are. They are not our neighbors. And when I look at this picture, I can see that these two people are the older ones. They're having canes in their hands and they're teaching the younger ones, right? They're teaching the younger ones that they're not neighbors. For years, the blues said there was no such thing as a good yellow. And the yellow said there was no such thing as a good blue. One day, Midnight Blue put on his best blue helmet and got on his blue bike. He loved cruising under the bright blue sky and passing by the tranquil blue lakes, singing a bluegrass tune. Then out of the blue, someone passed by so close to Midnight Blue that he lost his balance. Bump, thump, bump, thump. Midnight Blue tumbled to the ground. His knees started to turn black and blue. Midnight Blue needed help. See, his helmet went flying, his bike went flying. He flew down to the ground. His books were everywhere. And he looks like he's screaming or very sad in his face. Along came Navy. Navy will help me, Midnight Blue thought. But Navy was afraid. She wondered, maybe someone made Midnight Blue fall and maybe that person's still around. So Navy pretended not to notice Midnight Blue. 
See, there's a navy. Midnight Blue was surprised. Why hadn't Navy stopped to help? After all, Navy was his neighbor. See Navy just running right by? And look, Midnight Blue's crying. Along came Powder Blue. Powder Blue will help me, Midnight Blue thought. But Powder Blue wondered, did Midnight Blue get in a fight? Is the other person still around? He was afraid. So he pretended not to notice Midnight Blue. Midnight Blue was surprised. Why hadn't Powder Blue stopped either? After all, Powder Blue was his neighbor. And see Powder Blue? is just going right by on his razor scooter. Neither navy nor powder blue is true blue, Midnight thought. Uh-oh. Along came Lemon. Oh no, a yellow, thought Midnight Blue. A yellow will only make things worse. Maybe this yellow will steal my books. But Midnight Blue wasn't the only one who was scared. Lemon worried about helping a blue. What if that blue wanted to trick her? What if that blue jumped up and took her bike? Maybe she should just hurry by. But Lemon didn't hurry by. She decided to help. She didn't steal his books. She picked them up. She lifted Midnight Blue from the dirt, handed him his helmet, and helped him get on the back of her bike. Then she took him to her doctor. So here's Lemon. You can see Midnight Blue's on the back of the bike. While they waited, Lemon gave Midnight Blue a butterscotch cookie. It was broken, but still delicious. Midnight Blue said, you're a good yellow, not like the others. Most yellows are good, Lemon said. So are most blues, Midnight said, and he smiled. He pulled out a bag of blueberries and gave some to Lemon. They were a little squished, but still yummy. And the doctor is called Dr. Gold. That's the door. When Dr. Gold came out, Midnight Blue was still a bit frightened. Dr. Gold was another yellow. But Dr. Gold smiled at him. She shined a light into his eyes, checked to make sure nothing was broken, and put a bandage on each knee. Good as gold the doctor said. Midnight Blue turned to Lemon and said, thank you for helping me. I would like to be your friend. Lemon nodded, of course, a good friend. When Midnight Blue returned to his town, he told all the blues what had happened. It was not at all what they expected to hear. He said, Lemon did not pass by. Lemon did not look the other way. Lemon helped, and Dr. Gold did too. The Blues thought, the yellows do not look like us or eat the same foods, but maybe, Maybe the yellows can be our friends. When Lemon returned to her town, she told the yellows what had happened. It was not at all what they expected to hear. She said Midnight Blue wasn't mean at all. He was thankful. He shared his blueberries so sweet. From now on, we are going to be friends. The yellows thought, 
The blues do not know our songs or grow our plants, but maybe we can help the blues and the blues can help us. From that time on, the blues and the yellows began to say, maybe we don't have to look alike or live nearby. Perhaps we will like hearing new songs and tasting new foods. We might like making new friends. Maybe we can all help one another. Maybe, said Midnight Blue. Lemon smiled. Maybe, just maybe. I hope you enjoyed today's story. And I hope you're going to think about how you can be a good neighbor. Bye for now.